Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be um, a request from a lot of my clients in the salon. Everybody is always interested in knowing how do I get the curls that I get with flat irons. So I'm gonna give you guys two types of curls that I can get with flat irons and show you guys a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial and give you guys some pro tips on how to get some fabulous curls with the flat iron. If this is your first time here, then make sure you go and subscribe. Um, also, make sure you like this video. If you like it, make sure you go down to the comment section if you have any comments. And just get the algorithm going. So I need y'all to, to do all that. So, and if you stay tuned to the end, I'll tell you guys how the curls can last throughout the um, night, overnight, and also last you know for at least about two to three days. So, if that is something you guys are interested in, then I am going to do a talk through and I'm going to show you guys on my daughter how to get the curls. First things first, you guys have to make sure that you have good quality flat irons. I have been using these flat irons for about maybe seven years and I have learned that I tried branching out a few times and I've learned that those are actually my favorite flat irons. Um, they have titanium plate and they're really good with shine and just flat iron in the hair. They curl perfectly. I love those flat irons, like literally love those flat irons. So make sure your flat irons is really good first before you go in and do any type of curls. Those flat irons can get very, very hot. They get up to 450, so be careful. Only use the temperature that your hair texture can take so you guys don't burn your hair off. But if you guys are interested in purchasing those flat irons, they are actually on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below. Now I want you guys to pay close attention to how I am positioning my flat irons. That is gonna determine what type of curl you are gonna get. So pay close attention. I slowed it down for you guys so you can fully see what I am doing here. As I'm going down the hair, I am curling the hair as well. I'm kind of rotating my wrist a little bit to kind of have it go inward as I'm coming down the hair, if that makes sense. Also, when it comes to curling hair, it's best to do it on slightly dirty hair. The hair, you don't want the hair to be like super filthy and nasty and then you're trying to flat iron it. But no, you don't want to do that. But let it be slightly dirty and it kind of helps to hold the curl a little bit better when it is a little dirty. So I demonstrated two different curls on the back part of her hair. So you're gonna see one side is tight curls and one is loose curls. This is the loose curls. So you wanna be paying attention again to how I have the flat irons going straight towards the ground. That will give you a super loose curl. You wanna just go in and curl it one time and then go straight down from there. Just watch how I'm positioning the flat irons and that'll give you more of a better understanding as to how to get those curls. And always curl away from the face. When it comes to those type of curls, you wanna curl away, away from the face and then have some curls going towards the face. So that way it can kind of give it more volume and then when you kind of comb through it, it'll give it more volume and more of a tousled look. If you want to make your curls last, it's best to um, pin curl it at night or put it in a very loose ponytail and pin curl that whole ponytail as in one pon as in one pin curl, if that makes sense. And put your scarf on and maybe a bonnet. 
and that'll hold the curls for at least a few days curls usually you can at least get if you hold on to it you can get at least a few days out of it but you just got to make sure that you're wrapping it right at night pin curling it or sticking rollers in it or you can um like i said put a loose ponytail and pin curl just that one you can use bobby pins to curl it or pin curl it up at night Whichever works for you, but that's the best way to get days and some longevity out of your, your curls. So the best way to have long lasting curls if you're trying to get a few days out of it and you really want that curl to hold, it's best to spray it down with some um, with some spritz or holding spray. I like holding spray, the kind by Sebastian. I'll also have the link to that in the description box below. Um, the Sebastian I've been using for quite a while. It holds really nicely and it doesn't give it a crunchy hold. It gives it more of like a soft hold. But if you spray it before you curl that section, that actually helps it to hold even longer. So you spray it down with the holding spray first, the section you wanna curl, and then you curl it, and then you go back in again and you spray it again with holding spray. That will help it to hold for a long time. I'ma tell you right now, try it and let me know how you like it if you have never tried it before. But if you have, then let me know what you think about it down below. But that, you know, once you do that, that will hold that curl really nicely. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and you were able to gain some knowledge on how to curl with that flat irons child. Please let me know down below if this video helped you. And also comment down below, let me know what type of videos you wanna see next. I need to know so I can deliver, okay? I'm just trying to deliver the content y'all wanna see, baby. So let me know, let me know what y'all wanna see next. And also I wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe down below. But I wanna thank those of you that have been here and that have been riding with me. Thank you.